most part, my hobby and my job are one and the same. I mean, I spend so much time devoting my entire life in some aspect of her or another to music. It's kind of lifestyle, you know. If I'm not doing it for a living, I'm usually doing it for enjoyment. My father is a folk guitar player. He bought me some kind of fake guitar and I used to sit down and bring it and play along and stuff. My grandmother was a classically trained opera singer and piano player. She was an incredible sight reader. I remember like pull out Rhapsody in Blue and stick it on the piano and go, here you go, Grandma. And she would just play the thing because she could, she had this innate ability to do it. So, you know, as I got older, obviously, you know, that, that became a much more interesting and influ influential aspect of my family life and how it got me into music. My passion, the thing I always wanted to do was make records. I, I just love, you know, the production aspect of it. And so, you know, anything I could do to be in a studio was, that was all it was about for me. Out of college, I worked at a studio in New York City uh, where Stevie Wonder in one room, James Taylor was recording in another, Bowie was in the studio downstairs. I mean, it was, it was amazing. What they didn't know was that late after they would all leave, I would pick up Reeves Cabral's guitars, don't ever tell them, of course, and play his guitars. And, uh, uh, you know, James Taylor had these beautiful instruments there. And, you know, I'm sure if the studio ever knew that I probably picked up a couple of these and strummed a few chords, they'd kill me. But, you know... Um, I had to. Well, how can you not? Probably the biggest break that I got was uh, when I was working at a recording studio in Hollywood. We started working with uh, Rod Stewart, and um, I tried everything that I could possibly do to let everybody know that I was a guitar player and that I would be happy to lend my services to the session. And finally, uh, they, they actually let me do it. This is a 50s Martin. They were making these uh, Rod Stewart jazz albums. You had these the top form musicians like in town and they would come in with like, you know, a 1930s Gibson arch top. And, you know, I've got a Martin D18 and I'm trying to play jazz on it. And it turned out that the producer liked what I was doing better than he liked the other guys. And um, ultimately I ended up playing on a bunch of that and that led to more sessions on, you know, several more Rod Stewart albums and with several other artists that they were working with. And it kind of paved the way for a lot of the, the other work that I got a chance to do. This is the super rig. Usually pisses the neighbors off pretty well. Um, and the only time that the only time that anyone's ever bothered to call the cops on me here, which was we were exceedingly loud. It was a, it was very drunken too. And finally the cops come, and uh, the guy says, you know, he goes, I hate to do this to you because I was standing outside for about five minutes. He goes, you guys sound great. I got hired to do the guitars on Iron Man. The entire film became a big rock score and uh, that was a huge shining moment in my session playing career when I got to go to the theater and hear it. But it also paved the way for a lot of other films. It's been really a fascinating amalgamation of different sorts of things that have kind of made up my career uh, at this point. I think that the most important thing about a guitar is that, you know, you sit down with the guitar and there's immediately some kind of a connection with it, that it's easy to play and it's fluid, the concept that you have ideas, melodic ideas, and you can transfer them to your hands without any impediment um, technically on the guitar is, a, to me, that's, that's everything. And so, you know, it, there has to be a spark. I mean, it's like, a, it's, like, it's like getting into a relationship. You know, you go out and if things hit and, you know, they feel good, then you, hopefully you want to get together again. You know, and in the case of a guitar, you know, if I play something that automatically I just like, you know, you fall in love. 